start this project, I used quarter inch celestial fire glass. I sprayed some of the glass gold with the Rust-Oleum spray paint and some of the glass silver with the looking glass silver spray paint. Then I had three 4 by 12 canvases that were about an inch and a half, I think, on the side that I had picked up at Michael's. And the blue one, I did put some glitter on it, the one I painted blue. I took the silver spray painted glass and shaped it in the form of a Christmas tree. And I took a brooch that I had gotten on Timu. And when you use brooches for your toppers, in order for it to lay straight, you have to remove the pin off the back. And I just took this little tool and twisted it off, but you have to be very careful not to break the brooch. Next, I took these sparkly blue beads that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby and decorated the tree with it. Next, I took some iridescent tiny white snowflakes. They came in a container that I had purchased last year at Hobby Lobby and never used. And I also put those on top of it. I think the um, everything at Hobby Lobby is 50% off, all of their Christmas stuff. Next, for the red canvas, I used the gold metallic sprayed glass, and I just piled it up on the canvas and again shaped it in the shape of a Christmas tree. So next I had this beautiful necklace that I had picked up at a garage sale uh, probably a year ago and didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it and I actually started taking this apart. I used it to form the trunk of the tree. <clears throat> I did mess around with it for a few minutes. As I went back to the silver tree I actually ended up removing all the large blue balls and putting a bunch of um, smaller blue beads on there and um, a few more of the iridescent, the tiny iridescent snowflakes. The trunk of the tree I end up using um, rhinestone chain and this is actually a very large 8 to 10 millimeter rhinestone chain. Just cut it into um, short strips and use that for the trunk. And then lastly I go ahead and add the large blue beads back on. Just I use fewer this time. So the necklace that I used for the trunk of the tree, I also am using to decorate the gold tree. And I think these are so pretty. I hope they're going to stand out enough on the tree so that you can see them. And after I get those all on, I end up putting on uh, several pearls. Then the last tree on the green canvas, I take the gold glass and again shape it in the form of a Christmas tree. And then I have a real pretty poinsettia brooch that I have to take the backing off of it. Again, because um, in order for it to sit flat, you have to take the back off. You have to be very careful not to damage the brooch. And then I took some little red sparkly beads that I had picked up at Hobby Lobby and decorated the tree. And then for the tree trunk, I had a gold necklace and I cut it into four pieces to form the trunk of the tree. And I apologize, I'm doing this off camera right now, but there you go. And then it was basically ready for resin. So the resin I'm using for this project is KS Resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio resin. The previous three Christmas trees that I did, um, I used the KS resin for the very first time, and I really like it. It's uh, quite a viscous resin. It's very thick, and um, the difference between this and the art resin, they both have the same work time, supposedly, but I noticed with art resin, you really have longer than 45 minutes. Sometimes you can work with it for an hour and a half, whereas this KS resin, um, really the work time that it states is the work time. I think it's about 45 to 50 minutes. So anyway, I usually drizzle it over the glass first and then up on the canvas and I use my hands or my gloved hands to smooth it along the sides. You'll notice that um, it's up on top of cups. For anyone who's a beginner, you cannot lay it flat on your protective cover because the resin will drip down and it will stick. 
Um, <clears throat> most people will take painter's tape and put it around the back of the perimeter. I always forget to do that. So I do come back every 15 minutes or so after I'm done with the project and look at it. I hit it again with the kitchen torch for bubbles. I make sure there's no sediment in it. Sometimes it seems to magically appear. 15, 20 minutes later, I use a toothpick to get any sediment out of it. And I also take the spoon or whatever tool I'm using to smooth the resin out and scrape the underside of it so that there aren't any resin drips on the back, but inevitably you end up with resin drips. This needs to sit on a flat level surface at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature can significantly change the um, time that it takes for the resin to cure. Uh, being too cold, it can cause it to not cure, and being too warm, it can speed up the curing time significantly. So um, it's in your best interest to read the directions for the resin that you are using because all resins are different. And it's also in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover to prevent sediment from getting into it while it's curing. Hey everyone, so at the last minute I decided to add the um, the rhinestone chains on this because I just thought it looked too plain with just the red, red little beads on there. But I think it turned out pretty. I love the really dark canvases. Last year I did a bunch of Christmas trees on dark canvases like this and I just think that they look real pretty. And um, the resin, oh and I did put some um, tube confetti at the bottom, which kind of is translucent and picks up the color behind it. The only thing about um, the dark, the dark uh, colors behind your glass, if you're using something that's semi-transparent, you have to um, be careful because it will pick up the color behind it. And this is so pretty with all the sparkles on it. I think that one turned out real pretty too. And um, so I sprayed these. I like, I, I've never seen anyone do one with metallics before, the glass with metallics. I just thought it would be different. Now these uh, gold ones, I kept on turning and spraying and turning and spraying. And these, um, some of them are a little bit transparent, but um, I didn't get full coverage as far as the silver went, but I think it still turned out pretty. And then this, oh Lordy, I don't want those to fall. And um, in this one, I was afraid that that jewelry wouldn't show up on there. I put took that necklace apart and used part of it for the bottom. And then I used the little pieces. I probably would have shown up more on like a green Christmas tree, but I think it's still pretty. And then my, <laughs> I probably should have used a different brooch, but it's still cute. I like it. Um, <clears throat> so the resin on this is the KS resin. And I think it really did, has nice coverage. I don't see it, you know, pulling away from the edges at all. Um, it is a little bit pricey. It's $95 for a gallon of it. So, um, you know, sometimes the ones that you have to use on canvas that cover real well are a little more expensive. Oh, yeah, that's $95 a gallon. They do have higher levels of it. I think with more UV protection and stuff like that, that might go up to like 135 a gallon though. And the 135 I think is this one, the Lickety Split. Um, I don't know if you've seen that advertised on there. They have a, a new resin called Lickety Split and they're, um, they're offering it for 50% off their trial one. It was $12 with free shipping for this small one. And um, I don't know how quick it sets, but it's supposed to be lickety split. <laughs> so I'll, I'll try it on something and show you guys. And um, I don't know. So this was 95. Art resin, I think, is 115 for a gallon. So, um, you know, there, this is one of the pricier resins, but it really works well. And I don't do a lot of canvas art, only around the holidays. Usually during the year, I mainly do it on glass, but um, I, I would recommend this resin. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We have the Facebook page going, a lot of good um, information, a great place to ask questions. People are posting all their glass art, so pretty, um, just so many ideas and everybody's so kind and encouraging and um, you guys should come join us. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks for watching.